welcome back to five days of future this is it guys this is the day today is back to the future day october 21st 2015 welcome to the end of my the the pizzazz the top the the sort of going out on a high note of my let's play five days of future series i'm gaming jay and today we are playing super back to the future part two we've had to play our way through a lot of crappy back to the future games to get to the one good one uh, we're going to go ahead and give ourselves a couple more lives here. This is a Japanese game that never launched in the States. It is a great crime against gamers everywhere that this game was never released. Okay, so this is a Japanese game. I already actually tried the lesson. It's basically just running through a tutorial level. So I'm going to jump right in. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to go through the lesson. Uh, so give me a chance to talk to you guys a little bit. So this is it, guys. Today's Back to the Future Day. Today's the day that they went to the future in the year 2015. If you spot a DeLorean with a crazed scientist and a, and a young, bug-eyed little kid following him, you may want to say hello, because it could be Marty and Doc. And I have no doubt that people are going to be running around dressed up like these two. They're such iconic characters. It's such a great sh uh, movie and great series. And yeah, so if you're just joining us, you really should go back and, well, I don't know, maybe you shouldn't. You, you, you may want to go back and check out the other Back to the Future games that I played because for the last four days I've been playing Five Days of Future. Today's the last day, that's, today's the fifth, and I'm playing the only good Back to the Future. Well, one of the only good ones I know about. The other good one is the Telltale Games Back to the Future games. Those are more adventure style games. Oh, I can't even move on the water. Isn't this cool? I'm like Marty McFly running around a hoverboard. This is like every kid's fantasy. Why was this game never released in the States? It doesn't make any sense. But you know what? I'm enjoying it now, so it's all that matters. Um, oh man, I even forgot what I was talking about. Okay, so Five Days of Future. I've been playing bad Back to the Future games. Oh right, Telltale. Telltale, the Back to the Future game that they made, is a great game. I will probably play it later on in my uh, either Off the Book series or my... Let's play a thousand and one game series, but for now we're sticking with the old retro games and we played a couple of Nintendo games, a Sega Genesis game, and an Amiga game, and none of those were very good. And now look at this game. This literally this is how you make a Back to the Future game. Take note, you don't start, you know, on a horse being uh, gunned down by my mosquitoes and birds and all that. You you start off as freaking Marty McFly on the hoverboard. That's so awesome. Okay, now what we have here, a cutscene, Marty and Jennifer, my god, a movie that's actually respecting the story. There's no little Mario turtles or spiky guys to jump on. No, this is actually relevant to Back to the Future. Doc, you've got to come back with me. Marty, where? Doc, back to the future. And lo and behold, Check it out, the freaking DeLorean. This was on the Amiga version, but oh yeah, you know the Amiga version didn't really record very well. The Amiga, I don't know. Look at that. That, that was just done so much better. I love that it's kind of Japanese, actually. That just kind of adds a whole other level of kind of gaming coolness to it. Because we all knew when we were kids, the Japanese were getting better Nintendo games than we ever were. I didn't quite understand what a Super Famicom was compared to Super Nintendo, but I do these days, and basically it was a Japanese version of Super Nintendo, which had more going on, um, and so on and so forth. Got games before us. Yeah. So now, okay, I'm Marty, I'm in the future, and what am I doing? I'm platforming, running around, there's phone booths. There's, what do we got here? I don't know what this is, but I like it. I'm flashing, I, I presume, invincibility. There's a cop here, kill them. Uh, that's not going to cause any problems for, for the timeline. Um, it's kind of hard to tell where the platforms begin. Let's see how this works. Oh, yeah. So easy. This game's so intuitive. It's fun. There's stuff going on. I don't remember these cops. Oh, I guess these are like the cops that found Jennifer in the alley. They took her back to, um... Oh, man, where do they live? Lion Estates. Nothing but tramps, lobos, and something else. I know the line from the movie, but where was it? Oh, man. <laughs> I hate that. I, I, uh, it makes me look so unprofessional to, like, forget the name of these things. Uh oh I've taken two hoverboard hits. I only have one hoverboard in reserve. Don't want to do another one. 
You know what's funny about the hoverboard is it literally was a little girl's toy for the future. It's like a pink hoverboard, but every boy wanted one because, oh my god. Outside of the future, oh man, oh no, go away. Outside of the future, you know, we're willing to play with a girl's toy if it is super advanced and fun, so. That's a little info for you about boys. Want them to play with a girl's toy? Bring them a toy from the future, and they will play with it. That is a massive gun, sir. Looks like something out of, like, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Not Back to the Future. Which Who Framed Roger Rabbit was also... Hey, look, hot, do hot dog eating guys? That looks like the kid from the movie who was like... Uh, you know, Marty showed him Wild Gunman was an arcade game, and he was like, You mean it's a, it's a game? You have to use your hands? That's like a baby's toy. Which trivia, that was... Who was that, guys? That was Frodo. Go back and watch the movie. You will see Frodo in Back to the Future. Pretty cool. Um, all right, we got we got tons to talk about for this kind of last game here. Is, this is a game I've been saving all week because I knew it would be... Oh, no. Oh, Marty, he's dead. Writhing in pain on the ground, waiting for Doc to come and revive him. Um, you know, I'm not too sure how far I'll get in this game. But this is a game that has been on my list of games to play for so long. Um, being a Back to the Future fan, I don't know why I never played this game before. Uh, I guess I just never went out of my way to find it. And, you know... I mean, how many times have I talked about the Angry Video Game Nerd during this series? If you don't know who he is, 100% stop this video and go check out his Back to the Future videos. Uh, the guy is great. He's a huge inspiration for me. And many of the games that I've played in the last few days uh he played before me and again you know like i didn't make this series to copy him but i didn't make it to necessarily avoid things that he'd done before i'm just kind of doing my own thing here uh he never did a let's play he's more of a reviewer and uh and so yeah so i, I kind of only really found out about this game through him but i knew about it for years and i always wanted to play it i just never had an excuse to and now that you wonderful people are watching my Let's Play series and I've decided to do this Back to the Future thing, I thought, hey, that's a good enough excuse as any. So, yeah. Funny how, I don't know if there's games like that for you guys where, you know, like, you think, oh, you know, I really want to play that game, but I just don't have the time, or, or you kind of forget about it. Because, like, other games come out and stuff, and... One thing that I'm liking about having a Let's Play channel now is having a, an excuse to play all these games, you know? And when people ask me, you know, why not playing the, the newest, greatest games? Uh, I just say, you know what I am? I'm, I'm playing some old retro games that I'm enjoying quite a bit. So... Oh god, Marty, he's dead again. Check out Marty when you're just sitting idle. Like, he looks so happy and cool. They just did this game so well. And can we talk a minute for uh, about the music that's going on in the background? Um, awesome. You know, sometimes people complain when video games just have the same musical loop going over and over and over again. It's really hard to be upset at the Back to the Future theme. Uh, although, you know what? To be totally fair, it probably would get a little annoying to listen to it too much in a row. But, hey, whatever. I'm having fun. So, I'm actually not doing too great in this game. You really just have to kind of like run around and, and jump on guys. And I'm kind of not passing the first level here. So I gotta try a little, I wanna, gotta concentrate a little more. And I gotta calm down a little, you know, the, the excitement level of, oh, damn it, playing Back to the Future. Gotta, gotta not let that screw up the gameplay, because we gotta get through a couple levels here. I I wasn't worried about how far I got on bad level uh, on, in bad games. If I'm playing a freaking good Back to the Future game, come on, we gotta we gotta do pretty good here. So uh, yeah, Back to the Future Part Two. Oh, you know one thing I I haven't mentioned yet. Um, I've been to the damn it. I always get hit there. I've been to the mall. Oh, whoa. I'll take it. Secret time. Don't you love when you accidentally find secrets? Those are like the best secrets to find. Oh man. Okay, we're gonna be here for a while. Uh, am I, is my timing just off? Yeah, it's off. Okay, let's try this now. No. 
Oh, come on. He's serious. There we go. Um, yeah, finding secrets accidentally is the best way to do it. Makes you feel like a pro. Wait, how do I get out of here? Oh, God. This is a horrible secret area. There we go. Buy a new hoverboard. So these vending machines are kind of cool. You can, like, buy stuff. Um, okay. I... No! Ugh, damn it! You know, one thing I will say about this game, it's not perfect. When you jump in the air from a standstill, you really... It's hard to, to move. So, like, okay, if I'm just standing still here and I jump and I'm holding forward, I don't go anywhere. Hey, another secret. Man, look at all these things. Okay. Hey. Uh. Alright, so I've been to the mall where Back to the Future was filmed. The Twin Pines Mall. Which I think is pretty cool. It's not super recognizable as the Back to the Future Mall. Um, you know, I guess there's no more like JCPenney or whatever there anymore. It's something totally different. You can kind of see it if you know what to look for, that it is the Back to the Future Mall. Damn it! I think I died here the first time. God, okay, we really have to concentrate. I can't be dying like this. It's embarrassing. I'm playing my one, the one Back to the Future game I said was going to be good. And we're going to see like the first level or two. Um, yeah, but you know what? Uh, that mall where they filmed Back to the Future, where they did film it way back in the day... A lot of people have gone over the years to look at it, and people try and do like 88 miles per hour in the parking lot. It's kind of actually a big problem, uh, to the point, to the degree where, I can't get that thing. Damn, that was sloppy. Um, anyway, it's kind of become a big problem to the, to the degree where it's not like funny anymore. Like they really don't want people coming and paying a tribute to Back to the Future by doing something super dangerous. So, yeah, um, it was cool to see, but, you know, the same thing happened with Walter White's house. Walter White's house in Albuquerque was an actual house of some, some family for Breaking Bad. And, uh, tour buses and stuff will go to that house, and the family doesn't mind, like, if people want to come see the exterior of Walter White's house. The interior was a, like, actual studio thing. But uh, what the family does not like is people throwing pieces on the roof, which is something that fans of Back to the, uh, not Back to the Future, of Breaking Bad, like to do, apparently. And, ah, uh, damn it. Uh, you, you tempted me with something that looked easy. Meanwhile, you are hard. Ew. Why are all these robots against Marty? That's what I would like to know. Like, what? This is a trash. This is a trash robot that he threw the sports almanac in. So, okay, I'm willing to bet that like Biff is gonna or Griff, Biff's grandson. Biff's grandson, Griff, is gonna be the villain here, for this first level. And then I guess I'm gonna get the sports almanac. We're we gonna see cutscene for that because that'd be pretty cool. You know what's weird to think about? Okay, so Marty... Michael J. Fox is totally Marty McFly. There was another Marty McFly before Michael J. Fox kind of was in the role. It was um, Eric Stoltz. He was the original Marty McFly that was cast. And they recast him after like five weeks of shooting or something like that because it really wasn't working out. But could you imagine if Marty McFly had just been someone totally different? It would have just been... I mean, I guess we wouldn't know any better, but it would have been kind of weird. Well, I don't know. Maybe Again, we wouldn't know any better, so what the hell do I know? Maybe it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, I couldn't imagine that it would be the exact same type of movie, obviously. But, like, I mean, that happens a lot, too. Like, uh, Will Smith was supposed to be Neo, and Val Kilmer was supposed to be Morpheus in, back in uh, the, the Matrix originally. Of course, that is not how it turned out to be, but that's how it was supposed to be. Now what? Always safer to spin, because if you hit anything, you'll just kill it. But if you just walk into stuff, it will kill you. So just be spinning all the time, Marty. Just have a, a spin party. Spin, 
Spin, you fool! It's unsafe to walk. We must spin. Yeah, spin like that. Okay, spin. Spin. Yes! Are you kidding me? I died two or three times at this point. I was at the goal. Oh man, that's sad to know. Okay, guys, so we're we're on we're on our way now. I, I'm gonna fly through round one too, cause it's a boss. Yeah. Okay, Griff. It's Griff, right? Yeah. I even he even looks like um. Okay, how do we do this? No. I'm supposed to like. Oh, hit those things. Oh, I see. And then, then I go down here. How do I get down safely? Yes. Okay. Oh, damn it. No. Get, Marty, get over there. Yes. Oh, no, I didn't jump. Damn. Griff. I love how, how Marty and Doc travel through time and basically pick on the tannins. Uh, you know, they just travel through time, making life difficult for Biff, Griff, Mad Dog, all the all the tannins. Oh, damn it. Okay, so you have to go down. So he spins his bats, and that's like an unsafe time. Oh, man. Oh, you know what? You can hit him when he's not spinning his bats, it's just your timing has to be, like, spot on. Oh, he just like a jump attack too. Okay. This is gonna be tricky, guys. Okay, I, I know what I'm gonna do. Oh, no, and that's not it. Okay, you gotta time this just right. Ah. Oh. You know what the jump I, I am starting to have problems with this game. The jump command is not very good. Uh, and like half the time when you're going over a ledge, you go to jump. And uh, you just fall. And if Marty is spinning, he hurts a guy. If he's not spinning, he gets hurt. So, Like, look there. I just tried to jump. Okay. Oh, screw off. How do you hit me? This this turning into um, not it's not it's starting to look like I'm actually not gonna be Griff. Okay. I was jumping. I was pulling the jump button there. Come on. Give me a break. Oh man. Okay. I can get over here consistently. Oh, come on! Get out of the way! Like, you can't drop down. Oh my god. Well, guys, you know, I thought this Back to the Future game looked awful fun and I was gonna beat it. Clearly I'm lacking in some of these abilities needed to play these games. <laughs> Marty goes off to heaven. Where is Doc during all this? I could really use some backup, Doc. Okay, you know, we gotta try this one more time. One more time. I don't know how far we're gonna get. Is it gonna start me right at Griff? Because if so, that'd be awesome. Oh, it does. Okay, so we, ha we have a bit of time. We're gonna talk a little more. Um, play a bit more of this. So I think in the last video I talked about whether Back to the Future should be rebooted. And I said, you know, I secretly kind of felt like I wish they would reboot it. It's like so dangerous to go down there. I don't understand how you're supposed to safely get to those TVs. Like he just hits you every time. Okay, I'm doing something wrong, obviously. It's not supposed to be this hard. I, I gotta believe they wouldn't make a game this hard and label it back to the, oh, you know what? I do believe they would make a game this hard and call it back to the future kind of par for course for the other Back to the Future games. And I'm hit again. Seriously, dude, get the hell out of the goddamn way. My god, what are you supposed to do against this guy? Okay. 
So you can like somehow, you can like slide. No, you get hit. You get hit every time. And now I'm on top of the goddamn TV again. Let me land on the freaking switch. What do, what do you do now? Ah, oh, this stinking pop hit me in the face. Oh man. So anyway, in the last video I talked about, you know, rebooting Back to the Future. I kind of secretly wanted them to do it. I wonder if they even could do it these days. Um, so Disney originally passed on Back to the Future because they thought it was like too racy an idea for a movie. Where it was like, you know, a kid, his mom falls in love with him. You know, so you got some like themes of like incest going on there. You got things like, um, like what else? Terrorism. You, you know, you have this young boy being friends with like this old weird scientist man. Like, Back to the Future has got some weird stuff going on. As much as I, t as much as I love Back to the Future, I can admit there's some weird stuff going on. So. Oh, I see. You kind of jump from like, you jump diagonally, and you can kind of make it. Oh, sh crap. Hey, I beat him though. Does that count? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's the way to go down, Marty. Griff goes down. There's all his thugs. And he's really mad. Get him! Oh, we got the hoverboard chase scene coming up. This is a, okay. That's cool. I'll take it. Round two, one head. What does that mean these these you know games are these Japanese games are really mysterious. Okay. Why are all, why are robots ro these robots in the future kind of against Marty? Does not seem very nice of them. Oh man, I think I jumped through some spikes luckily there. Um, just kind of going down. Uh, no, I can't spin. Oh man. I'm just kind of like looking for the path of least resistance. I just want to get through a couple of these levels. I don't necessarily have to do good. Oh man. What? What is this? Who is that? It's like a dude who spun into a ball. We're both dying now. That well, that was just bad news for both of us. Hmm. All right, let's let's see what's going on. So yeah, I guess they're gonna have a couple levels in 1955, and then call it a day. Oh man. Whew. Can I get that? It's too bad, so I guess I waste money when I get those things, because it's like a, a hoverboard, but I already have three. Ugh. Like, now it would be nice to get one of those stupid vending machines to get another hit. Let's try this. Nope. Oh, man, the, you know what? As, as cool as this game looks, and as much fun as I am having playing it, the jumping controls, I would say, are my biggest complaint. They do actually detract from the game, and they take a little away. Because, like, if you're at a standstill, half the time jump doesn't work. And when you do jump, you don't move forward at all. You can't gain momentum in the air. Which I guess is more realistic, but... You know, I talked about this in the Zombies Ate Your Neighbors video. Things that are realistic but aren't fun shouldn't be in games. You know, games should always gravitate towards, is it fun? And if, it, if the answer is yes, then put it in. Work out a logic later. In fact, don't even worry about logic. Because games don't have to be logical. How logical is Super Mario Brothers? Oh man, this is a stupid jump. Jump! I'm hitting jump! Oh man, that's so delayed. Yeah, like how logical is Mario Brothers? Not very logical. Is it fun? Yes, it is. Okay. You, whatever you're doing, stop spinning Tetris pieces at me. Okay, did I get him? I think I got him. This is not This is kind of cool. It's like a wall jump. Oh, and I... There we go. 
Not as hard as it looks. Ooh, got an extra hoverboard. Ah, damn it. Spikes. It's getting trickier now. It's getting trickier. Hmm. Oh, I need that extra thing so I can get one more hoverboard. I'm never gonna make it. But like, lo like let's be honest. You guys have seen my my abilities in video games, and if I don't have full health on a very difficult obstacle, it ain't happening. Boom! Up to full health. That's how we do. Eh. <sighs> nope. There we go. That's actually kind of tricky to do. You kind of have to jump out and then in, but again, because of jump controls, are not the most responsive. Hey look, flying cars. Ha! Huh. Cool. Although this looks more annoying than entertaining, but it's still cool. Oh crap. Okay, get on this. Get get on this. Get get over to this. Okay, I'll just wait. It's like, uh, I can see, like, the 80s antique store in the background. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Sit. Uh. We're going to be here for a while, so what would you guys like to talk about? You think there ever actually will be flying cars? I mean, I said that in Back to the Future, they predicted flying cars, and, you know, obviously flying cars are not a thing. The internet is one thing that has never been predicted, or, I don't know, not never, but is was never a big prediction of movies about the future, but it was something that definitely has come up and, like, changed our lives. Oh, hold on. I can't talk. All right, we're just going to cut this. Woo! Made it. Oh, spikes. Okay, so do you think flying cars will ever actually be a thing? I think... Whoa. Is that like one of Biff's hench woman? Um, is she gonna hurt me? I don't understand what to do here. Well, I'm just bouncing off your head. Don't mind me. Yep, she hurts. Oh, I killed her. I didn't even know I was doing damage to you, in fact. That was some kind of mini boss. You know, when there's like no health bar for the boss, you can't even tell if you're hurting the boss, and there's no change in music. It's really hard to tell that you're actually engaged in a boss fight, but I'll take it. Okay, I gotta be really careful here, because the next hit will kill me. So this is high stakes back to the future right now. Um. Yeah, so will flying cars be a thing? And hey, you know what? We talked about if you could go back... If you go went through time, would you go into the past or the future, last video? How about how far in the future would you like to go? I think... I'm like a very curious person, so I would probably want to go as far as I possibly could. Uh-oh, this does not look good. Oh, man. Oh, man, I can't believe I survived that. Um... Yeah, so I, I would like to go maybe like 20 years in the future, because then I could still kind of see how things from my own time progress. 50 years, 75, 100. But then once you start to hit that level, maybe I'd want to go like 1,000 years in the future, like 5,000. Ah, oh, damn. Like really see kind of what the future has in store. Um, I feel like 1,000 years into the future would start to get scary. Like... You know, I, I kind of want to see it. I don't know if I'd want to stay. Maybe I just want the info to see, you know. Alright, what's it look like? And then be like, oh man, that's creepy as hell. Get out of there. Because, like, imagine if you took, like, a Neanderthal ancestor of yours. And you brought him into your to your nice, clean, modern house. And you things like showers and all sorts of stuff. You would blow his freaking mind. This poor little Neanderthal, he wouldn't know what is going on. Because he lives in a world of, like, dirt and grime and eating bugs and hunting and stuff. You don't hunt, you know? You don't have a speck of dirt in your house 
you know, you, you're you super clean with your showering. You're probably, like, unhealthily clean, his point of view. He's never seen someone as clean in his life. So imagine that that was you, right? Like, that would just be... I guess, kill this guy. Yeah, thank you, sir. You're dead. Yeah, so going too far in the future... Things would probably get quite weird, but I, I'm just so curious that I would st that wouldn't stop me from wanting to go. I still want to see it. So I don't know where. How far in the future would you guys like to go? And why? You know, another thing. If you could go into the past, would you like to go into the past? Oh god. And like change things. So, like, in Back to the Future Part 1, Marty goes into the past, affects how his parents meet, changes all that. Uh, I can only get one hoverboard. Alright. Would you like to go into the past and mess with your family history, your personal history, even? I don't know. I think the first video I talked about this, you know, like... Um... You have to be careful changing the past, because you could, uh, you could change something that you liked how it how it had turned out, and so you kind of undo something good. Look, I'm like a pro with these car things now. Oh, no, nope, take it back. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna cut this again. Oh, thank god we made it. Oh god, Spikes. You do not want those. Ah, shh, crap. Why is the jumping command so horrible? Okay, this girl is dead easy. You just bounce on her. You know, you need to go to fighting school because you're not very good. If your idea of fighting is spinning in a circle while somebody bounces a skateboard off your face, maybe reevaluate your life choices. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say it. So, alright. I. You know what? You know what's funny? Five videos and I'm running out of Back to the Future things to say. I have two other minor things I want to talk about, and then, like, I don't know. I think, I think everything that needed to be said about Back to the Future... Oh, man, I can't even jump up these stupid things. Go! Jump! I'm hitting the jump button. It's just not detecting it. Like, oh, I just hit the jump button there. It didn't go. <sighs> all right, we're going to cut this. Well, there we go. We made it. Okay, so, first of all, you cannot see a DeLorean without thinking Back to the Future. DeLoreans will forever be Back to the Future related. And who doesn't want a DeLorean? If I was, if I won the lottery somehow and became a millionaire, I 150% would buy a DeLorean. I might also buy a Batmobile, but I definitely would buy a DeLorean. No questions asked. Um, it wouldn't be very practical, but my god, would it be sweet to drive. Okay, there's a guy around here, I know it. It's gonna like shoot stuff at me. Happened last time. What a long fall there. Where is he? Oh my god. Ah! Damn! I should have just gone for it and kept going. Should have just gone for it. I need like one more hit at that spot. Okay, this is this is for all the marbles. Um. The other thing that I, I often think about is, not often, but I have thought about, what do you think time travel would actually look like? If somebody actually did invent time travel, you know, what would the time machine be? What would it be like to go through time? Um, well, I was trying to go for that coin, could not get it. And you know what video, or you know what movie I think does a really great job of this? Oh, God damn. Sorry, guys. But, like, seriously, this jump is crap. I'm sorry. Why would they do this to this game? Why is the jumping literally a handicap? I don't understand. Oh, my God. Yeah, you Tetris guy. You just die. You're, like, not even worth my time. Seriously, why would they do this? Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to, like, edit the car thing again. I'm, I have to edit all the sections where you have to do, like, precise platform jumping because literally they did not design this properly they didn't which 
How how is every Back to the Future game horrible in some way? I don't understand. And this is one I wanted to love. Oh, did I want to love it? Um. Oh my God! And it's so easy to get hit. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I gonna. I'm gonna be able to afford one hoverboard here. I wanted to. It's not gonna happen. All right, can can I do this? I'm pretty sure that we're in a scenario again where, like, I'm at the end of the level. I'm just dying stupidly. And, like, if I could pass that one part, I would totally be past the end of the level. All right, I'll see you guys on the other side. Believe it or not, I just did that with very little effort. So I'm proud. And I got hit on the goddamn spikes because the jump commands suck in this game. You hear me getting angry? You know what? Actually, I'm not getting angry. Um, I'm not as angry as I sound, at least, but it's just like, I can't believe it, you know? How often do you guys, like, legitimately yell at a video game for being too hard? I, you know what, off-camera, I don't do it very often, but, like, um, one thing with making these Let's Plays is you gotta, like, amp your emotions up a bit, so, like, otherwise, you just kinda sound bored while you play. So I'm, like, you know, trying to, trying to amp my emotions up, and I'm amping them up a little here. Um, because I'm failing at, like, really stupid parts for really stupid reasons. Anyway, if time travel really existed, what would it look like? You know, a great movie for this is Primer. If you've never seen Primer, you should really check it out. It is a, a mind screw, though. I mean, it is it's crazy. But it's basically about these two engineers who invent time travel in their garage. And all the consequences that go along with that. And basically... You know, I mean, if you don't want any spoilers, I guess fast forward for just a minute or so. I'm not going to give a major spoiler here. But at one point in the movie, you know, after they've invented time travel, they see a character waiting in their driveway for them. And they're like, what is this guy doing here? And I'm, I'm freaking dead. I'm freaking dead. Um, damn it. Off to heaven we go. Anyway, and they wonder, like, why is this guy here? What's he doing here? And... Um, they call his house and they find out that actually he's at his house. He's not in their driveway and they realize he's from the future Wouldn't that be creepy as hell? I think that would be creepy and Yeah, I mean if time travel really existed stuff like that would happen You would see yourself in a park maybe and think my god What am I doing here? And you wouldn't know because the events that lead you to the park aren't here yet. And maybe when you try to confront yourself, yourself runs away and you're like, I guess I have a good reason for spying on myself, but what could that reason be? Right? So if time travel, yep, that's, that's par for course right there. If time travel really existed, you know, I'm sure it would be, it would borderline on like creepy and scary. So maybe it's a good thing that we don't have it. Or if it's happening out there, we just don't know about it. Ah, damn it! Like, this guy's so stupid. I just hit you from behind, buddy. Ah, I, you know, I'm having flashbacks of Back to the Future Part 3 where, like, really, I feel like if I put a little more effort into this, I would totally do good at it. But for whatever reason, I'm just not. And... No, I want that. I, like, this is how bad the jump commands are. I want that. Give it to me. Oh. Every time something happens like that. Every time. Every time. And they're not stingy with power-ups. Like, I'm getting extra power-ups. I'm just not getting enough. I'm getting hit too much. I don't know. Am I going through the levels too fast? What am I doing that's wrong here? Boom. Badoom. Alright. See you in a minute. Oh man, was that annoying. Okay, back here. Okay. I am going to do this part. Oh, are you kidding me? You can't get by that. I don't believe it. And I'm just probably dead here, this stupid girl. I keep getting her with like one life. I kill her easily enough, but then that. And then her annoying boyfriend will kill me all right anyway guys I suspect I'm not gonna get it much farther than this which is a real shame because you know this whole back to the future thing I feel like I did have fun with it but maybe I didn't do as good at these games as I thought I would and 
I'm going to go out on a limb and say they all have a big, big major flaw, and th that is not the conclusion I wanted to get to with Back to the Future games, but it is the one I reached. Um, this one, the fatal flaw is a jump mechanic. It sucks. And I'm just going to go on the record and say it. That said, once again, Back to the Future is one of my most favorite series of, series of all time. And it is Back to the Future Day, and I don't want a jump, a lousy jump uh, mechanic to take away from the magic that is Back to the Future Day. I hope you guys are having amazing Back to the Future Days, finding amazing things on the internet, amazing tributes. You're watching your old friend Gaming Jay here fail at yet another Back to the Future game that he was really excited to play. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, well, I've been Gaming Jay. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a like, give me a subscribe. And as normal, I will be back in a couple days. Hey, Marty, you're listening to me too, are you? I'll be back next week with a brand new Let's Play 1001 games. We're going to get back to the normal series. However, if you have enjoyed this little special, let me know. Let me know in the comments because, hey, I'm always willing to try something different. I'm willing to do other specials in the future. And uh, I'm going to go now and see what I can see on the internet. Enjoy Back to the Future Day in my own way. And that will include watching Back to the Future Part 2 later tonight and seeing what everyone else has contributed to the internet, to YouTube, to make this day special and awesome. So I hope you guys have a great day today. And until I see you again, peace.